Hello and welcome to part 15 of my let's play, my blind let's play of Pokemon Platinum. I love this Eterna City music. It's so cool. It's like, it's just proper chilled. And then it, it builds. It, it's awesome. It's so good. Let's do a team recap. <laughs> yeah, we're in Eterna City. Obviously. Uh, we have Matt the Badoo, who's level 16 now, all grown up um, with Absorb, Growth, Mega Drain, and Stun Spore. Oh, I just, I don't even want to talk over the music, I just want to do an episode of just, just like, chilling listening to the Eternal City music. It's so good. It's so good! Anyway, Lorenzo is a Staravia, I believe it's called the second evolution of this line. With Wing Attack, Quick Attack, Double Team, and Growl, also level 16. We have Brockette, who's level 17, and a Onyx. An Onyx. Everyone's probably going to think I don't know how to say Onyx, because I always say Onyx. Um, Tackle, Rock Smash, Rock Tomb, and Rock Throw is what Brockette is rocking. It's rocketing. Primplup, called Scamper, level 17. Pound, Metal Claw, Bubble, and Peck. We have Molly, level 21. Luxio, I think I decided in the last episode it was called, and I was right! With Tackle, Bite, Charge, and Spark. And we have Jessica, level 13. Wabbit, the Bunuri. Um How good is this? With Defense Curl, <laughs> Foresight, Endure, and Frustration. It's nice. It's a good team. It's a good team. We need to train up Jessica soon. In fact, yeah, Matt, Matt's caught up now with the rest of the team, so let's... Let's turn up with Jessica. Ka, 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 ka. Okay, so we got to Eterna. We spoke to these two guys and everyone in here in the last episode. Time to go explorating. There's bikes everywhere. I think we're going to get a bike. We got hinted at that last episode. Let's dig up some treasure. Search for treasure! I'm from Orberg. I work at the mining museum there. I got advice from the underground man on digging up treasure and spheres. Before I get digging, let me share his advice with you. While you're digging, you may uncover dark rocks. They are very hard. If you keep hitting them, the wall will collapse. Don't forget that. And you'll be digging up treasure in no time. Okay. Okay, whatever. I am, I am the first. You are, you are. I am, I am. Reference, anyone? Get it? If you do, check out the description for WWE Baser. Um, the first to have gone underground and dug some tunnels. You can call me the Underground Man. Everyone else does. You don't have a name now. Okay. I'll make a gift of this for you. Hold to hold up your end of you hold up your end of the deal and put it to good use. Explorer kit. Cool. My gift to you, the Explorer kit, will instantly make take you underground. You need only to use it, and you'll be down in the tunnels. The underground is a different world where you can do this, that, and the other thing too. Wow, sounds great. Let me mentor you into becoming a full-fledged Spelunker. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I need an adult. I don't want a Spelunk. Um, hmm, well said, my young friend. I will teach you by assigning missions first. Go underground. Going underground is quite easy. Simply use your Explorer kit. If you accomplish that, I'll give you your next test. So, you say just use the Explorer kit, but I'm guessing it doesn't work here. Rowan's word echo. There's a time and a place for everything, but not now. See? See? No spelunking in here! Yeah, right. I'll go and do that in a sec. The underground tunnels go everywhere. Grab your friends and let's play together using DS wireless communications. I feel like that might be a bit obsolete by now. I feel like that's, that's probably dead and gone. All I ever unearth are armor fossils. My buddy only digs up skull fossils. I wonder why that happens. Doesn't matter though, I can just swap them with my buddy. I simply let a Pokemon hold an armor fossil and trade it to him. Yep, yeah, got it. Version differences. Okay, so so can I just do that here then? Oh, I can! Oh, wow! Uh, sure. Why do I feel like this isn't gonna work? Okay, it, the feature still works, even if the wireless communications maybe doesn't. Who are you? Roark. Roark. 
Hey Beza, is this maybe your first time here? How did you know? It's almost like it's programmed to the game. Welcome to Sinnoh's Underground. Huh? Where is this, you ask? Doesn't the radar make it obvious? No, not particularly. This is a giant underground network of passages underneath Sinnoh. Huh? What am I doing down in this expanse of a place? That's kind of hard to answer. I mean, you can do pretty much anything you want down here. For instance, you can dig up treasure, search the spheres, and make a secret base. You can play with your friends down here too, I bet I can't. You should talk to the underground man in Eternal City. Have to get going now, I'll see you around. Oh, is that how you get out? Okay, I'll just spin on the spot and fly like a helicopter, shall I? Ooh, what's over here? Feels like it's in here somewhere. No. Down here? Just went past it, didn't I? What do I do? What do I do? There's things flashing on the radar, but I don't know what they are, or how to get to them. I really want to find out what those things are. One's in here, it's, they're all in the wall. Oh! Oh, okay! Here we go! Something pinged in the wall, three confirmed, what? Oh, there is a note stuck in, tucked inside the explorer kit. Digging for treasure and spheres. I put a sledgehammer and pickaxe in your explorer kit. Use them and you'll be able to touch walls to dig out all sorts of stuff. I'm sure you can dig them out before the wall comes tumbling down. You can do it. Good luck, youngster. What do I do? What do I do? Oh! Oh, it's touch screen, okay. Oh, okay, I get it. So if I switch to this, oh, okay. Oh, here we go. Hey, I got a thing! Give me the thing. Why can't I get the thing? Uh oh. I think the wall's coming down. No, I got it. I got it. Woo! Woo! I know what I'm doing. Yay! Blue sphere size 2. Blue sphere size 4. I thought there was three things. Okay. Okay, right. So what is the point? That's the question. <laughs> That's the question. So I've got to speak to the bloke again. I've done more than I needed to. I only needed to go underground. Hmm, I see that you've gone down to the underground tunnels. Well done. Take these as rewards. Move trap up. Bubble trap. Leaf trap. Those are called traps, you don't say. They're triggered when stepped on. The underground is a place where you can go with your friends. Might try setting those traps when you're down there with others. Now, what should I assign you next? Being an empty, I would think, but it's only because you're a novice spelunker. There are many hidden things down there that are not visible to the eye. For my next test, I want you to dig up some treasure or spheres for me. Okay. Oh, so I have to do that again now because I did it early. Stupid. Well, let's go do it again and see what he gives us this time. Yes. Yes. Seven hours of game time. It's only episode 15. Well, I suppose that works ish. Half an hour an episode, roughly. Should be seven and a half, then. I must be averaging under seven now. Uh, half an hour an episode. Aha! There's a thing. I think it's in this wall here. 
We have to find the right bit of wall. Oh. Okay. Ah. I think it's this bit of wall here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, give me that. Three things confirmed. Okay. Waka newbie, 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 waka newbie. There's one. And one. Uh oh, this one's not going well, guys. This one's not going well. No, I didn't get it. No! Okay, I still got the stuff though. Okay, so I hope just getting so I didn't have to do it perfectly. Just getting something was good. So there's obviously a technique to that that I don't have. <laughs> is, is there a point to this? Let me know in the comments. Is there a point to all this? Ah, you dug up what I was looking for. Good job on finding it. Well done indeed. Take these as your reward. Prism Sphere 1. Nice. And Red Sphere 1. It's just what I always wanted. And a Blue Sphere 1, in fact. Fossils and stones can be dug up and brought out from down under. Spheres, which are gems, cannot be brought out, but they can be exchanged for goods down there. Now, what should I assign you next? Test that over here. Let, next, let's use some spheres. The spheres one can find underground are very peculiar. When buried in the ground, they grow daily, a little bit at a time. I want you to go bury these strange spheres in the underground. That is my latest test. Okay. Okay. How do I do that? How do I do that? This is a weird episode. Whatever. The whole point. The whole point. This is a blind let's play, guys. The whole point is to experience the whole game. Like. So even if this is totally pointless, the point is me experiencing a feature that they put into the game, as stupid as it may be. It may turn out to be really good, I don't know. But so far, so stupid. Right, so what do I do? So I could, I could, could bury that. Yeah. Did he want me to bury the one? Oh, maybe he wanted these three burying. I'm just gonna go ahead and bury that. No idea what I'm doing, guys. No idea. Don't even know if you can bury the same thing in the like more than one thing in the same place. I should probably just try that, shouldn't I? Ah, oh, yeah. See, 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 see. So why does it keep you in the menu if you can't do more than one at once? That's so dumb. There you go, old man. I buried some stuff. Good, good. You buried your spheres. Next time you go underground, they should have grown bigger. Just don't forget where you've buried your spheres. Anyway, well done. This is your reward. Digger drill. Nice. That sounds good. May have seen them already, but there are sphere collectors. They wonder about the underground tunnels seeking spheres. No, not actually. They'll happily trade your items for big spheres. Now, what shall I assign you next? Have you grown weary of repeatedly going back to the underground? Well, it's not over yet. Wow. They even acknowledge the fact that this is a bit time consuming and a bit dull. Next up is your secret base. That's right. I teach you how to make your own secret base. All you need is the digger drill I gave you earlier. Simply go underground and use the digger drill wherever you like. That will instantly make you your very own secret base. So your next assignment is go make your own secret base. Who'd have thunk it? Okay, going underground. I wish we didn't have to like save every time as well. It's a bit silly. I wonder if the, I don't. I doubt this works. I doubt this still works. I really do. Whee! Oh, who cares if you forgot where you put it? Sparkles. Although I don't think that was the... Yeah, that was the last one I put down, wasn't it? Where's the prism? There we go. Nice!
Now what do I do? I want to do I want to do a secret base. How do I do this? I don't know how I do it. Ah, okay. I don't I don't know why that would be a trap, but okay, so we have to be up against the wall, I'm guessing. Whee! Let's go. Yes! Secret base, baby! Block the entrance to decorate the secret base. Okay. Oh, there just happens to be a PC in the wall. Right, okay. Check your collection of flags. Nice. Okay, well... I did that now. Oh, so I'm offline while I'm in there? That's strange. Okay. Right, well, I've done what you asked. I'm gonna... I'm gonna, like, do the bare minimum each time because I've learnt from last time. Don't... Don't do what will probably be the next task. I love the Eternal music. Major actors in secret base, excellent. I thought I might have been asking too much of you, but you did it. Well done, take these as your reward. A plain table, thanks. Thanks, and a wooden chair. Thanks. And a small bookshelf. And a Baneri doll, oh nice. Nice, it's a Jessica doll. A digger drill can only be used only once. Thanks for telling me that now. Now that I've wasted it, just on a random wall. If you wish to move your secret base, you need to obtain another digger drill. You can trade a sphere for one underground. What should I make you do next? You stuck it out to the end. This is my final test. Woo woo! You made yourself a secret base, but it's totally empty, is it not? Not to worry, you can decorate your own secret base as you see fit. So for my final test, I want you to decorate your secret base. Furniture and interior goods to give your secret base character. Character. Just because you are a character doesn't mean you have character. Let's go then. Go then. Whole episode of just digging around underground, faffing about with secret bases. What's the what's the benefit of this? Is there is there like an end purpose? Is this just a, a time extender? Okay, so my base was just along here. Yeah, there it is. Sure. Close and decorate. Thanks. Decorate. Decorate. I want a table, please. Put it. I put it up against the wall, I think. Thank you. Decorate. Give me a chair. I'll sit at my table, thank you. Decorate. Small bookshelf. Next, next to the computer, why not? Not too far from the table to go and sit down and read my book. And the Baneri doll! Oh, I was going to say it can live on my table, but apparently it can't. It's fantastic. Why would you want it on the table when you can just put it on the floor? I guess we'll just put it in this corner then, why not? And we're good. There we go. The music down here is pretty funky, actually, as well. It's not as good as Eternal Cities, though. Let's go back to Eternal City and listen to that music again. I love the chilled start to it. I think it's awesome. Ah, you've even managed to decorate your secret base. I knew I recognised the Spelunker in you. I wish you'd stop calling me that, it sounds weird. Don't forget to close the door when you're decorating. We don't want any visitors getting hurt by walking in on you. <laughs> getting hurt while you, you place your Baneri doll somewhere. Also, if you want to place goods you've received, store them in the PC first. Anyway, well done. This is your reward. A Piplup doll. Oh! Nice. 
There are ways of collecting more decoration goods. You can grow spheres you found and trade them for goods. It's also possible to obtain goods from friends, I bet it's not anymore. Okay. Not mad about that. I kind of want to go and put my Piplup doll with my Jessica doll. My, um, Scamper doll with my Jessica doll. Let's go do that. Even though we don't need to at all. It's utterly pointless. Oopsie, I pressed the wrong button. Whoopsie! Just used to mash in B to, uh, to skip through text, but then not do anything afterwards. We have to mash A to get through this text successfully. There we go. I like how it falls through the two screens. That's kind of cool. Yes. Close and decorate. Close and decorate. Yeah, thank you. Decorate. Decorate. Piplop. Next to Jessica. There you go. Scamper and Jessica. What a team. What a team. And that's us done. What an awesome episode. Oh, wrong thing. What an awesome episode, guys. How can you not leave a like? How could you not leave a like for this? <laughs> Subscribe if you want to see me actually play Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I assume I'm done in the underground now, unless something else comes up. But I, I'm trying to experience the whole game, and I, you know, I didn't hate that. I didn't hate that. It was stupid. It was pointless. I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. Time enjoyed is not time wasted and all that. Um, so yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on this, and just let me know in the comments as well if there is actually any benefit to to faffing about down there. Um, I would love to know. Don't forget to uh, share with your friends if you think they are a massive fan of the underground in Pokemon Diamond, Pearl and Platinum and would like to get in on this video. Um, yeah, then let them know. If not, maybe point them to the rest of the series. Also, check out the description for the other channels that I have, that I run, uh, my social media and my Patreon. It'd be greatly appreciated if you check out any of those things. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I'll see you next time.